Okay. <laughs> All right. I uh, want to take a look at your weather right now. And I mean, it looks not bad. Stoller, Stoller, the Stoller. winery always oh, looks amazing well, and out look there. Look at those cumulus clouds. Just beautiful. Oh, just look at those cumulus oh my gosh. clouds. The Sounds like a weather skies. person right there. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you're going to be saying that word a lot. They're pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice looking afternoon out towards Stoller Winery. 61 degrees in Portland, and we're mainly in the upper 50s, low 60s at this point in time. The coast, even seeing some sun breaks. It's beautiful out there, too, towards seaside. Again, low 50s to low 60s right now, and we're dry, but we are expecting to see some pop-up showers as we head towards our afternoon. We're still not out of the woods just yet. We are seeing that upper-level low system that's just offshore uh, by Vancouver Island. It's still going to throw some moisture our way this afternoon, but also into our Friday, too. So we are watching out for showers for the next couple of days here. Still unsettled out there, but right now we're dry in Portland. As you can see, the coast is getting some lingering showers up in Astoria and out towards southwest Washington, even towards Vancouver, Longview. Uh, we are seeing some heavier rain showers passing through, so that is still a possibility as we head towards the later afternoon hours. So keep that in mind. Here's our future cast going into today. Again, those showers this afternoon. By the late evening, I think we dry out just enough to enjoy a nice evening there. Overnight, more showers do start back up again, and through Friday afternoon, we'll, we'll keep those uh, showers around. And as we warm up tomorrow, uh, we may even see some instability and thunderstorms popping up because of that. So we're watching out for some active uh, weather for tomorrow afternoon inside those thunder cells. We may see some heavy rain, even some hail or a pop of some thunder and lightning as well. So tomorrow again, we're watching out for that and uh, we'll keep that on our uh, radar here. Uh, but going into Saturday for the parade, we will see some nice weather for it. So a lingering light shower possible throughout the morning hours, but I think we'll likely be in the clear as we head towards the afternoon. And become mostly sunny. So a nice Saturday ahead. Sunday stays dry and Monday well into next week. We're looking dry as well. Again, that thunderstorm potential for tomorrow everywhere in green. It's down the valley and out eastward over the mountains towards eastern and central Oregon as well. So here's our uh, uh, forecast for the Grand Floral Parade. That's on Saturday morning. It goes through downtown Portland. Uh, we'll see a lingering drizzle in the morning time. Temperatures in the mid 50s. So do bring a light rain jacket. Uh, but by about lunchtime, we should dry out in the afternoon become sunny will be comfortable in the in the uh, mid 60s so bring a backpack to pack away the rain jacket i think we'll see some great weather as we go towards our afternoon so here's a look at the uh, forecast at the coast today we'll see sun breaks but still some scattered showers working through highs in the upper 50s also a bit breezy out there winds around 15 to 20 afternoon showers possible in the valley a high in portland today at 64 degrees out in central oregon and eastern oregon we'll see lingering showers but becoming sunny out there gusts around 20 miles per hour also windy up in the mountains and through the gorge today where we're seeing lingering clouds out to over Skamania, but uh, we are expecting some sun breaks later today as well. So here's the seven day forecast still unsettled as we head towards tomorrow. We'll keep temperatures in the low 60s, but a slow warm up 80s on Sunday and then hot weather. Look at that 90s going into Monday, that's Tuesday crazy. and Wednesday. Yeah, that's quite a warm up. Uh, you were actually out today at a school, I right? I was, yeah. yes. So I got a chance to uh, speak to a first grade class at Oregon Trail Elementary School today about weather and becoming a scientist. The young students had so many questions about tornadoes and hurricanes, and we talked about thunderstorms and how lightning forms. And I'm sure those kids had fun, but to me, it was really rewarding. You know, yeah. like, you know, just it just takes one person to inspire someone else. So hopefully uh, today I, I I inspired at least one young mind today. Yeah, well, I saw you did the, the balloon, uh, the <laughs> trick the where static, it makes your hair exactly. go crazy. Yeah, and the best part that. were all of these thank you notes Aww. that they sent. They're so cute. They, they were cute. They were full of energy, so smart. They had so many uh, questions to ask. It was just a really fun time. Yeah, the weather is like the most interesting <laughs> job here. When we get tours that come <laughs> yeah. through, like the year parts, the the most, they get bored with oh, us yeah. and they're like, let's go back to the weather. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. Stick around. Have more fun for